When I hold it in my hands, I have a strange feeling. A casino token of insignificant value. Francois left some notes on the Maya numerical system here. The vigesimal system starts from the bottom with ones and continues up through twenties to four hundreds. A very clever numeric system for its time. An artifact that very nearly cost me my life. I've come for this from as far away as France. I've got enough money in it as well as all my papers. We have nothing to talk about. I've been waiting for you here. It's getting dark and I wanted to make sure our agreement held. Definitely. I'll return in a few hours. Where exactly will you be? Don't worry. I will find you. As you wish. See you in about three hours. I return to the village to while away the time before the arranged meeting with Pedro. I will return after the Temple of Dawn is covered by nightfall. Senor Holen, Senor, come over here. What do you want from me, Kit? I have a message for you. A message? From who? You're Martin Holen, right? I'm not supposed to tell anyone else, you see. Yes, that's me. Where do you know my name from? I can't tell you that, but you look the way he describes, so listen up. You are supposed to go to Rosie's pub right after I tell you this. When you arrive there, you will understand. H hold on. H who sent you with this message? W what did he look like? I mustn't say anything, and I won't. Adios, senor. Wait a second. Hmm. Nobody knows me around here. Who could possibly know that I'm here? There is nothing to talk about.
Eh, hey, senor! Only guests invited by Madame Rose yourself are permitted to enter. Is this another gambler's day or what? I was under the impression that this only applied to last night. I've still got the token if you want to see it. Ah, it's you, senor. I didn't recognize you at first. Feel free to go inside and have whatever you like. Thanks. That's one of them. How could he have found me here this fast? It's too late to get lost now. My only choice is to find out why he wants to talk to me. Come closer. I've been waiting for you. Surprised? What do you want from me? I take that as a yes, but let me fill you in. What you see is a crushed old man for whom everything has gone wrong. I was naive and I hoped that I could finish my work after so many years. Yes, that's how it is. I'm an old lunatic. Why did you want to meet me? I know you might not believe me, but I want to make up for what I've caused. And also warn you. It isn't that long since you tried to kill me and now you're saying you want to help? Yes. You must believe me. At this point I have nothing to lose. My work must die with me. Suppose I listen to you. What do you want me to do? You need to visit the White Bear, the oldest of the Mayan. Only he can show you the path to the last machine of life, which you must destroy. I have zero incentive to trust you. There's no way I'd cooperate with you. But that would be a mistake. You killed my uncle. Why on earth should I trust you? It's my son whose hands are stained with blood, not me. I would never have killed your uncle. I respect people who have devoted their lives to science, like me. Where is your son now? That I do not know. He has decided to find the machine of life on his own. You see, the hunger for wealth has stunned his mind. Find the white bear. I'll show you where he lives. Well, I'll think about it. Now go. Unfortunately, my life is at its end, but you must continue. Find the machine and destroy it. Society is not ready. I finally got to understand that today. Okay, I'll find him and hear him out, but I can't promise anything more. Do what you have to. Farewell. Farewell. I didn't know if it was another trap, but something was making me believe it wasn't, not this time. Several men saw me through a small settlement of only a few huts. They acted as if the arrival of a complete stranger was an expected event. And so I entered the greatest of all the huts to meet the oldest of these men, White Bear. Come closer. I have been waiting for you. Please, sit down. So you know who I am. Yes, I do not know your face, but the old prophecy shall soon be fulfilled. You are the white man who comes from the world behind the infinite ocean. The one, the messenger who joins the long lost symbols of life. The white stranger who awakens the gods to life again. You are the messenger of the gods. I don't think I'm quite the person you're talking about. I've come here only to fulfill my uncle's dream to prove that extraterrestrial life exists. The prophecy does not lie. You are here to remedy what your people spoiled many years ago. White people, you have to unite the symbols of life and so bring Anunake back to the world of those who are alive. But how? What symbols? You already hold two of them in your hands. I can feel their presence. Yes, that is the great key of life. All that is left to be done is to obtain the last one and unite their power. That is the goal of your further steps. The prophecy is clear. 
But what happens when I've got all three of those? You do not need to know more until then. I will tell you what you have longed to know so much when the time is right. How do I find the last key? I cannot influence the prophecy. You must find a way by yourself. That is all I will say. The journey to White Bear and back to the village took me several hours. It's time to get some equipment and prepare for the rendezvous with Pedro. I could use some equipment I could rely on. Like ropes, lamps, that kind of stuff. Ah, you needn't say more. I've got everything you could ever need for a proper expedition. I've been through quite a number of them myself. I know, Francois told me about your traveling on many occasions. Ah, those were the times. Oh well, today is today. I'll get it all ready for you over the day and leave it here on the counter. Will that do? Perfectly, thanks. I was glad to take a rest after an exhausting day. After Mexico sank in the darkness of the night, I descended the stairs to pick up the equipment that George had prepared. A few meters of solid rope. A kerosene lamp from George's equipment. An alcohol lighter, it's full. Archaeologist's hammer. There's no way I can get anything else other than tequila out of him. before somebody from the camp spots us. You sure took your sweet time. Yes, it's a long journey. Let's get started right away. Where's the mechanism? Don't worry. I know where it is. I keep my word. But all the gold from the inside is going to be mine. Agreed? Like I said. Fine. Let's do it. Amazing, eh? And nobody knows anything about it. Now, to find out what to do with it... I'll think of something. Step aside. I guess this binds us together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get out of here. Right. Any ideas? No, not really. Tell me if something occurs to you. Sure, sure thing. The statue of the Guardian, the god of the sun and water. Old symbols are engraved around the prism, one for each season of the year. It snapped into the center of the stone perfectly.
see that? Today you're going to become a rich man, Pedro. <laughs> We're not inside yet. Well, why don't you shut up and stand on that nearest symbol? Whatever. Just get me to the gold. Stay there and don't move. Okay, I won't. Its edges are quite sharp. need to do is lower a rope and you'll climb down. And what are you going to do? I'll cover you up here and warn you should somebody show up. So you leave all the work up to me and want a full share. What? Oh, you're right there. It was me who came up with the whole idea and told you where to start. But it was me who found the entrance. Ah, forget it. I'll go rather than lose time arguing. All the gold I find there will be yours, deal? Fine, I will be on guard. Hello, treasure, here I come. I can't see where it leads, nor how deep it is. We have nothing to talk about. The time has left barely any marks on the statue. A bottomless black hole. The steps end here. I can't go any further.
There's still oil in it, even after all those centuries. An old symbol of water in the shape of a snake, the image of life and infinity. Doubtless, it used to serve as a primitive door. How do I open it, though? The warning symbol of death. The relief of the god of waters, still very preserved. It probably used to hold water, who knows? Whatever was in there is gone. Hey! Quiet, I'm here! I need water. I'll lower my canteen for you. Just give me a minute to tie it to the rope. No, I, I'm not thirsty. I need more water, much more. I, I don't have any more. So what now? Bring me some from the river in that bucket. What? Am I supposed to drag it over that far? Either that or we're stuck. No water, no gold. Oh, okay then. Ay caramba. Wait here, I'm on it. I'm back. Can you hear me down there? It was about time. Hey man, it's far. Go yourself next time. Calm down, nothing's for free. Come on, lower the bucket. Watch your head, here he comes. But now I need rest in case I might not be able to carry away all that gold. I'll call you again if I need something more. Water that Pedro has brought me from the pool not far away from the temple. Something seems to be missing here. I'll try to improvise a bit. I need more water. The water has run out through here and disappeared in between the stones. Psst. What? I need something like plaster. I, I saw some in the camp. Plaster? What for, goddammit? Just fetch it, okay? Okay, okay, I'll be back in a minute. Hey, I've got the plaster for you. Good. Throw it down here, but carefully, so I can catch it. Don't worry. Pedro! Come here! Any news? Yes and no. I need more water. What? What 
the heck you do with that bucket for? I just need more water, got it? All right, but you better not waste this one. I'm not a mule, you know. Whatever, just go get it. It's heavy, full of plaster. Water that Pedro has brought me from the pool not far away from the temple. I don't need anything from him now. plaster is ready to be used. Nothing happened. Maybe more water is needed. Psst. I need something. I need... Uh, well, I, I just need more water. Not a chance. If I end up having to go in there one more time, you'll end up needing to start digging a grave for me. There's no proceeding without water. I can't help it. I won't be able to get to all those treasures. Okay, okay. You know this gets me going. No need to remind me, really. I'll bring more water, but this is definitely the last time. What on earth did I do to deserve this? You are. I'm so tired I can barely stand on my feet. This does it. I'm true with bringing water, understood? True! Yes, yes, yes. This should be enough anyway. Thanks. What do you. What do you mean, thanks? Calm down. Now it's my turn again. I sure hope it's going to be worthy trouble. You can save your thanks for later.
That's it. Great. Excellent. The last symbol of life. Something's wrong. Strange. Not all of these symbols are Mayan. They appear to be mixed with some that I've never seen before. Excellent. The last symbol of life. Holy artifacts from the altar, all made of pure gold. An artifact of the symbol of life. Pedro, I'm back. Lower the rope. Did you bring my gold? How much? How much you find? A few nice pieces. Why don't you go back then? I took everything I could see. There's no more gold in there. If you don't trust me, climb down and have a look for yourself. Yeah, whatever. I'm not going to fall for that trick. Look, are you gonna lower the rope or what? Sure. I just wanted to make sure you weren't trying to rip me off. I deserve every last bit of gold for all that dirty work. I handed the gold over to my new friend and set off back in the direction of the village to the dwelling of the White Bear. All of the three keys are now firmly in my hands. You have returned. The fulfillment of the prophecy is almost upon us. I can feel you have all the three symbols with you. Yes. It is the time to reveal to you the location of the burial grounds of the ancient king. Show me your map.
That is where your steps must lead now. Take with you this amulet of the kings. It is going to be the key to your journey. Go and fulfill my people's prophecy. I drove my jeep as far as the jungle permitted. The path finally vanished in a layer of barely permeable bush, forcing me to continue by foot. I don't even know how long I had struggled through the jungle before I spotted it. The lost and forgotten Temple of Gods, of which the white bear spoke. I am now very close to what I have been looking for. I know it. The Amulet of Kings, given to me by White Bear himself. Success! The end of my long journey is now within my reach. The skeleton as well as the outer shell seem to be intact. I must bring the entity inside to life. I don't know what exactly these were used for, but I'll figure it out no matter what. Something is missing here. Something is missing here.
money it has cost me to follow you this far. And this time, you're not getting away. Looks like your father's warning was not a mere gesture after all. But my father warned you about me? He was even a greater pansy than I thought. He wouldn't want to understand where this technology could get us. This is machine. Comes the richest man in the world. Too bad for him, too, because he's dead. Money? Did you go through all of this because of money? Nobody can stop me now! Not my father! Not you! Nobody! I did what I had to do and returned to Europe. Everything I was searching for vanished in thin air. Since nobody would ever believe what happened in the heart of the temple, I kept the whole story to myself. But I got to know the truth, and there is one proof to support it. I know it's going to be enough for you, Fonsmo. Rest in peace, my friend. <laughs>